you feeling? good but a little bit anxious yeah I think that's completely normal um, so I know we talked a little bit about what we're gonna do but we'll just go over it quickly um, as you can tell we're all alone here we always you know make sure to close for a couple of hours or do it on um, a day that the salon is closed uh, it's just more comfortable when it's something so personal. So I'm really happy you're here. I'm happy you chose me to do this with. Um, and we just always strive to make this as positive experience as we possibly can. And from talking a little bit, I can tell that you're working on just having a really great attitude about it. And I think that that makes a huge difference. Um, so we're gonna do our best just to have some fun today. Um, we can basically go at whatever pace you would like. Everyone's different. Um, there's, you know, no wrong answer to how you would like to go about this. We can go just straight in and do the buzz cut. Um, or we can, you know, take it slow. We can play with a different um, haircut or two if you'd like to do that, take a little off at a time. Um, something that we also started doing here, which uh, we found to be a little bit helpful for some people, is doing just a little bit of sort of a makeup therapy because people find it um, really relaxing to get their makeup done. And it's kind of just fun. We're taking off all the hair, so might as well play with the makeup. Um, so if that's something that you would like to do, we can do that. We also have some scarves and a few other things that we'll look at. Um, I can kind of give you some suggestions on how to tie them, how to wear them, just show you some different things. Sounds good? Okay. So what are you thinking? Are you wanting to go right for the buzz cut? Or do you want to take it a little bit slow? A little bit slow? Kind of in between? Okay. That's right. You said you wanted to donate to Locks of Love if possible. I definitely think we'll be able to do that. I think your hair is long enough for sure. And it looks like it's still in pretty good condition. Yes, as long as you've not started any really harsh medications or anything like that, which can affect the hair structure. Okay. And it's not can chemically treated at all with bleach or color, perm, solution, anything like that. Okay. Okay. And you would like to go ahead and do a little bit of makeup? Okay. Oh, that sounds great. I love doing the makeup part, so that'll be fun. Um, so just to kind of give you an idea, we'll go ahead and do the makeup therapy first, just to help get you calmed down, just relax a little bit. Um, then we'll just brush the hair a little bit for a little more relaxation. <laughs> the better, you know, relaxed you are, the easier the whole process will be. Um, so we'll do those two first. Then we'll go ahead and do that first cut um, to donate to Locks of Love. Uh, and then we'll just keep going from there, okay? Okay. I'm gonna ask you how you're doing a few times, but if 
at any time you get really anxious or you just need me to slow down, please don't hesitate to tell me, okay? Okay. So, we're not going to do, you know, a full face of makeup by any means. Um, let me just check your skin out a little bit. Okay. So to start, we're just going to use this Olay Total Effect 7. It's a CC cream, which is basically like a BB cream. I think they say it has, um, you know, it's a tone correcting serum in there. Just a little more benefit than a BB cream. A little bit of that. And then we're just going to spread this all over, okay? Okay. Let's start on your forehead. Just come down the nose. So that looks good. And it just kind of evens everything out. Okay. We're just going to use this big fluffy brush and a little bit of powder. This one is by Bare Minerals and it's their Mineral Veil, which is just a finishing powder translucent, which means there's no color. I'm just going to get a little on your lid. Go ahead and place my hand on your forehead just to stabilize. And we're just gonna buff this in a little bit. Look at that forehead area. Go down the sides of the face. tools kit and I love these because they have lots of different brushes in them and we're just going to choose the biggest one in this kit just a big fluffy brush we're going to 
go ahead and use this little palette right here. Basically, it just has a blush on one side and sort of a bronzer um, on the other side. We're just going to do the blush today. We'll just apply a little bit to the apples of the cheek. Give me a smile. Good. Okay. We'll go ahead and talk about the eyes and the eyebrows. Um, of course, you know, when you get the chemo, the eyelashes and eyebrows fall out as well. So I'll just give you a few tips on the eyebrows. If you, you know, choose to draw them in, um, anything like that, I think that's very personal too. Some people like to, some people never do it. Um, but I'll give you a couple tips in case you want to. Okay. So, it's really important to start with an eye primer, since you're completely filling those in, you want everything to stay in place. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. I'm going to get this all over the eyelid and up, even into that brow bone. And we'll put it in those eyebrow hairs a little bit. Um, of course, you'll want to do that when you're just drawing them in once they fall out. when you're completely drawing in your eyebrows, I would suggest using a combination of pencil and um, just a powder, just for a little bit of a more natural look. So a couple of tips when you're doing your eyebrows in general, but especially helpful when you know you're not going to have a natural eyebrow to follow. Typically, you're going to be using these sides of your nose, and this will help you line up where to start and end. So it's a little bit difficult <laughs> to do without a mirror, but I'm going to use the side of my nose right here and the inside corner of my eye. That's about where you would want your eyebrow to start. The exact same thing, the corner of the nose to the outside of the eye, and this is approximately where you want it to end. So those are a couple of good tips. And then same thing, the side of the nose, and you go right to the outside of the iris, the colored part of your eye, and that's about where you would want the sort of most arched area to be, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start with our little pencil. And you want to do little, you know, sort of flicks with the pencil. If you draw a line, it looks too harsh and unnatural. Okay.
I'm just going to go in with our powder, kind of fill it in a little bit, and just give it a little bit of a different look. sort of fuchsia, pink colors, and look, isn't that funny? They almost match my nails. <laughs> so we'll mostly, you know, use this light color and, you know, put a little accent in there just for some fun. Does that sound good? Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes for me again. sort of drops underneath your eyes, which is not where we want it. one is a brown, so it's not too harsh, nothing crazy. Um, we'll line a little bit on the top and just a little bit on the bottom, if that works for you. Okay, close for me. a little bit on that water line on the bottom. Okay. Just very gently touch the bottom of your eye here. Okay, good job. And the other one. little baby mascara. So go ahead and keep your eyes just kind of halfway open for me is what I find is easiest.
with a really neutral, this is not even a lipstick, it's just a tinted lip gloss, and this one is very natural, it's called Honeysuckle by Burt's Bees. So just kind of leave your lips just parted a tiny bit for me. gonna comb your hair out a little bit, all right? So just take some deep breaths. Everyone's favorite paddle brush feels nice, doesn't it? It's kind of like a massage for the scalp. Okay. You ready to go for that first big cut? Okay. Let me get a cape on you quickly. Just so you don't get hair all over you. Just brush it into a ponytail in the back. I'm gonna do a quick braid to hold the hair together and then we'll do that first cut. Alright? Okay. you're ready. Are we good to go? Okay. So a little bit 
Are you ready to see it? Okay. Here we are. Does it feel strange? Yeah, let your hands do it. I love that you can donate to Walk the Blood because it's really going to help someone. Okay, let's keep going. pretty short. Do you want to play with a real short haircut? Take them off? Okay. Let's go ahead and get you a little bit wet.
through this is an incredibly rough cut. It's just kind of fun to see what something might look like. What do you think? I actually love it on you. I think it looks great. Yeah, your face shape can definitely carry it off. So what's actually fun about doing the buzz cut is once it starts growing back, which it will, you can play with all different kinds of hairstyles as you grow it out. So what do you think? Are you ready to go for the buzz? Okay. All right. You sure you're ready? Okay. Let's have some fun. I got the clippers here. So where do you want to start? It's kind of up to you. Everybody likes to do something different. You want to go right down the middle? <laughs> okay, that sounds fun. the side. Okay, it's a fall off, what do you think? It's crazy, huh? Yeah, feel it. I used to love when my brother would get his head shaved in the summer because it felt so crazy. Are you feeling okay? Want to see a couple of scarf options? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can kind of give you an idea of how to tie them and just the different types. Okay. So first of all, this is probably my favorite type of scarf. I just love the look with the really big bun on the outside here. Reminds me of a cinnamon roll. This is a really large scarf. Um, the most important things are obviously the feel. You want to make sure it's really soft fabric and that it's comfortable. As you can see, this one has got a little bit of stretch all the way around. 
and of course you just want to pick something that you love so you can find different types of scarves online or you can even go to your fabric store and get some just really great pieces of fabric that you like um, and you can or you can have someone you know sew the edges under or hem them so this is a really beautiful one it's just got kind of these little ornate white and orange pattern and I'll show you when I take this one off this one actually has some decorative tassels at the end that you can let hang out or you can tuck under like we did on this one so this is an option then you can just go with something a little bit lighter something like this this one is different it's just a really big square so I'll kind of give you an idea of how to tie it on myself okay so I'm gonna kind of first lay this over my shoulders just so I can get it tied up around the back of my head find my end and I'm gonna do a loose tie to begin with So I'm just getting it started. Then I'm gonna hold these front ends. I'm gonna find the back and I'm gonna actually pull that up and over. I wanna do that before I get it too tight. tie these tight however tight you want it and we'll go ahead and cover up this tag so it doesn't matter then what I'm going to do is actually bring these to the back the front ones and tie them back here demonstration purposes I'll just tie it once and then just tuck the ends under and then for this front part I kind of want to roll these sides in a little bit and then we're just going to tuck it right around that knot check my mirror so it's just rolling these ends under basically there are so many different ways to tie these things it just takes playing with it tucking them different fabrics are going to lay differently and I would probably tuck that one even a little more before I got this under. For some reason, this type reminds me kind of like old Hollywood <laughs> for some reason. So anyway, that's one way. Let's untuck this. We'll go ahead and just pull this off. I'm just going to flip this right around and put it on this way. So with these long ones, you know, you can hang it loose. We could tie this in a knot if we wanted to. We could even wear it to the side. There are so many different options. So that's another great 
um, you know, type of scarf that you can try. So I don't know if you've thought about wigs at all, but if you're feeling really crazy, it was however just Halloween. You could always try something like this when you're feeling crazy. So this is obviously just a really cheap Halloween wig. And actually what I would suggest if you're thinking about doing some type of wig is to find people that have some or go out and purchase a few really cheap ones even if they're colored like this just to sort of check out the shape you know if you want bangs um, obviously this one is like a little wedge cut with an angle around the face um, you could play with different textures and the wigs get a good wig, which is why a lot of people choose not to. It can be really expensive, so you want to make sure that you know you're going to like it, which is why it's great to play with little fun ones. And you might just be feeling crazy on some days. <laughs> Need a little color in your life. I do like this cut, too. I like the angle always love a side angle. What do you think of this one? Okay. Or you could go really crazy <laughs> and play with something fun. So I think this one is supposed to be a little bit Marilyn Monroe-esque. It's just an example of playing with different textures. Obviously, this is very curly, but it's kind of fun. And you'll most likely want to get a wig cap. And the inside, you know, this is a very cheap version, but they can tend to be a little bit itchy in the seams. That might be fun to try something new. So what do you think? Do you want to try one of those? You want to try the long one? Go with this guy? Okay. So I'll kind of show you while I'm sort of pulling it out here. These ends around here are really just tucked under, so it's very easy just loosen it up and as I said this one's got tassels underneath so you can see it's just rolled just like a cinnamon roll like I said and we'll untuck these ones you can see on here, the base of it is just simply the scarf wrapped all the way around to the side, and then there are two knots, and we make two knots to make sure it's tight enough, but also to give us a base right here to wrap these around. You might have extra fabric hanging out like this, but because the roll is so big, as long as we kind of pull it down, It'll cover all of that. So, finish removing this. Okay. So, as you can see, this one is really long. Just a really huge rectangle shape. And we've got this one also folded in half. 
And something like this type of fabric is going to be warmer. So if that's a factor, you'll want to keep that in mind as well. And now we'll just fold the knit in half the other way. We're going to put it kind of on an angle because we want the sides to be even, but actually even on the side, not from the front. So pull this down a size just a little to start. Get it where we want it. going to wrap that fabric right around. So just start with one. You can kind of twist it as you're going as well if you want to do that. It depends on the look you're going for. When you twist it, it will make it a little bit tighter. Or if you want to leave it looser or completely loose, you can do that also. those ends under. All right on the thread. Okay. I love that. What do you think? Yeah, it's beautiful. Like I said, that's my favorite style. It's that big side knot. Another really fun thing to play with once the hair is gone and you're doing the scarves. Really? just play with some really fun earrings. I think earrings are gorgeous with scarves and there's no hair to block them. So something like this could be kind of fun. There's one. The orange and the turquoise I think would go well together. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Or something really big and funky like this. What do you think about those ones? I love them, yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome with the orange. You want to try those? Okay. about trying the fun pink wig. Yeah? Okay. Let's take this scarf off and we'll put that on, okay?
just to hold the weight on to the foam. area. I'm going to flip it over just a little bit. It's going to come right in here, okay? I'm going to come around the side and back here. How's that feeling? Okay, good. Let me know if anything's poking or itching, okay? I really like that cut on you too. It's gonna be hard to choose once you start growing it out. Alright, my sweet darling. I think we are all finished up. Are you feeling okay? Pretty positive? You've already done wonderful. I know you're going to do amazing through the whole remainder of this process. And I can't wait till we can go celebrate when everything's over and finished. Are we pencing it in? Okay. Perfect. Well, I adore you. I'm going to be thinking about you. And make sure to call me and let me know how everything's going, okay? want to wear the wig out. Okay. I'll talk to you soon, alright?